Storytelling, I think, is most useful when you realise that it's two words and not one. Absolutely, fundamentally, story and telling. You should separate the two of them and consider them separate when you're beginning to think it through. Story is about creating feeling, it's emotional, it's characters, you want a response, you want people to act, and some people have that naturally. Uh, some people have great stories inherently, some people are natural storytellers. Telling is channels, it's content, it's which social media platform. It's the bit that trips a lot of people up. And also, what is logical and tactical, and what is strategic and emotional? So they require different headspaces, different mentors, different uh, areas for advice and inspiration. So first separate the two, understand them, and then bring story and telling back together. So if you want to know the next thing you should really do, find the thing that scares you the most. I'm dyslexic, I never went to university. I have a massive chip on my shoulder about that. And so I thought, okay, I'll write a bloody book. Be ready to trust your instinct. Because it won't be the statement of fear, it will be the feeling of fear. And when you get to what really makes you uncomfortable, find a way to get comfortable with it. Because the strength that gives you will take you so far as an entrepreneur. Very often when we're thinking about storytelling and marketing, we think about who's the most familiar audience. Who's the audience that are going to appreciate this the most? I like to think about the lion's den. So as you think about your audience, what's the scariest place you could take this? Who's going to hate it? Who's going to turn against you? Make the list that you'd make of who should I go and tell this story to, and then put that on one side. And then make a list of everyone you'd be scared to tell that story to, who, who might respond negatively to that story, who should have a big debate around that story. Think of the websites, the platforms, the journalists, you know, those that you might typically shy away from. And not the further reaches of the hateful dark internet, but you know, the people where they'll be surprised to hear from you. That list will undoubtedly be longer but it will undoubtedly create a bigger conversation around your story than just speaking to your friends. It's not about the, what you choose to do, it's what you choose not to do. And for someone of my you know, inclination, and I imagine many of yours, choosing what you're not going to do is the hardest, hardest thing. The, the worst, the most difficult circumstances have been redundancies, particularly the redundancies where your, your comrades in arms, the people you fought alongside for years and years, have had to be let go and tragic events that I wish would never happen. And on reflection, I realised they were always preceded by a period of time of trying to do too much, of, of not doubling down on what you've got in front of you, but getting excited about new opportunities, and before you know it, having more work streams than you can handle, and 12 months later, it, it's now seemingly obvious. So that tough choice, yes, of course, we'll focus on these things, but that much tougher choice, we will not do that.